Hi, my name is Neil Modi and I'm a law student from Mumbai, India. And we're here at the IAC 2016 in Guadalajara, Mexico. And it's been a great experience. We just gave a presentation, my co-author and me, on asteroid mining and its legal implications. And um, it, it was a lot of fun. So in my law school days in India, we wrote a paper on asteroid mining, me and my co-author. And you might ask how the topic came up or why we chose asteroid mining. And frankly, we just found it really interesting. So my, my co-author comes up to me and says, you know, what do you think about asteroid mining? And I said, that sounds great, though we don't know anything about it. And we decided we'd find out and we'd write a paper from the legal perspective on the legal aspects. And so, and frankly, what we found out is asteroid mining is a big thing today. And currently, the laws that exist today just cannot regulate it. They just aren't good enough because they were made 50 or 60 years ago. And what we thought about is let's look at, let's look at this problem or rather an opportunity from a legal point of view. And the, the focus of our paper is actually formulating a new body or a new legal regime. Called what we, it's what we call the international space body. And we feel that this is, there, there needs to be a new body to actually regulate asteroid mining activities as, you know, as they're going to explode in the future. And basically, that's all we were talking about today. Thank you. So my co-author and I, we've written a research paper and a presentation on um, asteroid mining and its legal implications. So when we started uh, researching on the topic of asteroid mining, we realized that we're so fascinated with space exploration, we're so fascinated with new technology, that we forget the other parts of it. With every technology, with every exploration, with any new research, what you require is regulation of that research. What you require is a framework so that that research can be accessed easily by everyone else, so that there are no complications once you know we receive the final product. And what we realized is that the last space treaty that has been signed by all the nations was the Outer Space Treaty that was ratified in 1967. So that's a long way off, you know. The space laws are really old. There is, there is an, a lack of international consensus on several issues. Now, today, a lot of companies are investing billions of dollars into asteroid mining. Now, what is going to happen if two countries decide to mine the same asteroid? What is going to happen if there's a dispute? What is going to happen if there is a, li uh, there is a, a crash and there is a liability on a particular nation or a private company? There are no legislations that govern all of this. Through our presentation, we've tried to cover these points as to how the legal framework should be based. Thank you.